Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, uh, once again, off screen, I did a bit of roaming around doing some stuff. I accidentally did um, talk to a guy about getting a new side quest, but it was just another, hey, race through the balloons out in the field one. Probably one for, Bas uh, for, for Basque Legion. Speaking of, we got ourselves a Basculin. Now... If you're like me, you might look at this and go, wait, hold up, what? Wait, hold up, what? What What in tarnation is this? Well, turns out, Basculin has a Hisuian form called White Stripe Basculin. And they are very tame and very gentle. They are not the... They're not the piranhas that you see in, uh, in, in, in other regions there. Uh, which is interesting. That's an interesting thing. Also, alongside him, we got our Quillfish ready to evolve. Because, yes, there is an evolution for Quillfish. I have not seen it. Uh, oh, and Basculin's ready to evolve, too. Basculin's a pretty easy evolution. All you have to do is uh, do 300 damage through recoil. Meaning, just keep using his recoil moves, of which he has more than one. And uh, through that, you will be able to do that. So... Let's start with some evolutions. First off, a Basculin uh, into Basculegion. So that means there is not uh, red and blue forms of Basculegion. There is only one Basculegion because only the white stripe can evolve into it, which is a bit of a shame, but it's a good thing I didn't catch that shiny one then, huh? So the question is, how big is it? How big is the Basculegion? Is it as big as the one that we can use out there? Okay, yeah, that's still big. That's still big. Now, uh, if I, I do want to get myself an alpha, though. So I'll be getting that later. Now, as for Quillfish, I've not... I've, I've read its name. And boy, jeez, does it have a good name. But I don't know what it actually is. So, let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Oh, you became a mine. Okay. Overquill is an amazing name. Okay. Um. I think this might be. The first miss. I think this might be the first miss for me. I, 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 I get what it's going for. I feel like it's, I feel like it didn't go all in with what it could have done. Now, that said, will I be using him? Yeah, because uh, I, I want to. Um, actually, no, never mind. I don't want to. What am I saying? I was going to, but I, no, I'm not a fan of Overquill. So, you know what? He can go back in. Um, yeah. I think that's the first miss for me. I think it's specifically the nose quills that block his eyes? I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I think an alpha version could be cool. Because that, that could be freaking massive, and at least that has a, a bit of a thing. Also, there's an alpha gold duck I got. At least there's a little bit there. But, yeah, no, no, not into that. So, uh, in that case, well, we're not using Gyarados anymore. Because we don't need you. Um, let's see. Who else can we put on our team that we can use slash, uh, you know, abuse here? Because we got a ground type. Hmm. I should probably start leveling some of them. Oh, that's a male one. Darn it. Um, I should probably start leveling some of them that I can, you know, uh, evolve in stuff just to kind of get some of those. Um, let's see. Mom. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Uh, pet little, because we don't, we don't have a grass type and I want to get one of those pet littles there. So let's, uh, get you for you. Or is it, is it a stone evolution actually? I don't actually know how you evolve it, so let's take a look here. What items, what 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 Evo items do we have? Because we can check those. So let's get 
uh, some of these put away. I did see someone on Twitter say um, the final upgrade to your bag. The final upgrade is an is a portal that gives you unlimited storage space. So that's good. So I'm going to try a couple of these stones here just to see if any of them are the one that we use to evolve it. Ah, it is a sunstone. All right. I knew it'd be one of those stones. That'd be nice to have a fighting type too. Normally I have fighting types. I almost always have fighting types when I play, so that is good to have. Good. I was going to say, it's probably going to be some item that I can just get there. Um, I also did get a Seed of Mastery, so that's good there. That'll be quite useful. And um, let's see. Let's just sort that. Okay. Level 35. That's not too bad for where we're at. And you know what? Well, we could get you bigger. I don't mind you at that size. I don't. Uh, so, let's go to the training ground. Let's see if we can get any new moves while we're here anyways. Hola, Zisu. Uh, I want new moves. Is there anything we can get it while we're here? Uh, let's see here. Well, what does it have already? Stun, Spore, Poison Powder. Okay, so all of those I see. Can we give it a fighting type move? I want to actually see if we what 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 it has then. Do you have a fighting type move? Uh, rock smash, drain punch. Oh, drain punch. I like that. You know what? Better than uh, poison powder and yeah, sleep powder. I'm not going to use either really. Um, okay, so those that's good there for sure. Drain punch will be nice because drain punch self healing is lovely. I will keep stun spore because stun is always useful. Um, so let's see here. What else can we get you? Aerial Ace. Do we have a flying type or something with Aerial Ace? I mean, Cleavor does have it. He just doesn't have it on his, his personage right now. Uh, let's see what else is there. Magic Leaf don't really need. Poison Jab is interesting. Does anyone have a poison type move? They don't. Okay, let's get Poison Jab then. Because not only is that like a good move, but that's some interesting type coverage. So we'll give that to you too. Okay. Alright. So let's give that to you. Change moves. Poison jab. There we go. Because stun spore I can find myself using. Now energy ball, that's a special type move though. I wonder if we I wonder if we can get you a or if you have a physical type. Leafage is, it is physical, but it's pretty weak. I think that's about as best as we'll get for now. I feel like you'll get something better later. Um, and Basket Leech, now that you've evolved, do you have anything else? Um, Shadow Ball, you are part ghost type. Uh, double Edge. Nothing really there, so let's see if there's anything we can give you from you. Let's see. Any interesting type coverage? Ominous Wind. Well, is it, it's physical based, right? Yes, by far. So let's see. Ice Fang. That is nice to have. That is some good type coverage. But Ominous Wind is not a type that we really want. Yeah. You know, Ice Fang has has usage for sure. That is that has coverage and all that. Okay. So let's give that to you. Change moves. Ice Fang. And we'll put that over. It's kind of redundant to have Aqua Jet and that. So Zen Headbutt's really good. And even Crunch is like a good one. We don't have a Ghost type move on it. But then again, I'm not really worried about Ghost type coverage on it. Because Ghosts are. Ghost moves are almost entirely um, special. So that's better for Nobunaga. Nobunaga, rather. Okay, look at this team of brand new pogies, which is kind of how I want to go about it. I'm very happy. Uh, let's see. So is there uh, any missions that we are able to complete while we're here? Cherim, we still haven't found one yet. So that'll be later. Catch the mysterious Red Will-O-Wisp on Windswept Run at Night. 
Okay, well, you know what? Let's let's go let's go get that done. Because we can. Uh, stay safe. I really wonder when when the um outbreaks happen because i had that happen the once and yet not again okay so we want to go to night until nightfall mysterious red will-o-wisp that makes me think it's not a regular will-o-wisp that we can get okay so we're going out to there i'm trying to get the map please thank you okay so it's up there so let's warp up there what is a song? Oh, it's the balloon race. Okay. So let's go check that out. Okay. I did, like, run around, and I went to those islands over there. There- oh, no, that's not where we're going. Let's get rid of that, because that's where I went before. There is a request over there, too. Okay. Where's this Will of the Wisps? investigate. Where's this George Lucas bad sequel idea? Oh! It's not a red will-o'-wisp at all. It's a tree chimchar. I did find chimchar on the island there, and I actually did beat up a alpha infernape. I didn't catch it, but I beat it up. Okay, well, it's a bad type matchup. Alright. You're kind of at an angle, aren't you? Yeah, it's only level 12, so I'm actually not too worried about your ability to do this. So let's just do Drain Punch. That is a foot. That is a foot, not a punch. All right. Definitely has some leveling to do, but that's fine. You should catch Chimchar so you can show it to Pariah. Oh. The, oh. I was wondering what happens if you... Okay, so if if you... If the quest involves you catching it, and you kill it, the game's like, uh-uh-uh, do it again. That's good. I was kind of curious about that, so I'm happy I have satiated my curiosity. And this is where Cleavor is very useful. Because then I can go, like... Um... I mean, even just a regular false swipe at this at this power level should be enough. Yeah, there you go. All right, and oh, there's like a zoom in. You can use a zoom in still. That's cool. Get you, Saru. Get you, because he's a monkey. Ape escape. All right. I wonder if that actually counts as being given to me, or if that will go immediately to there. Go back to Pariah and... Sh okay. Okay, so that is just... Get a free Chimchar. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You know... I'm curious. I didn't go there. But what, what, if, what if we went to Lake Verity? Oh... I should try catching you so I can get a Alpha Star Raptor, because that's just a cool concept to have. Whoops. Wanted to actually battle you. An Alpha Star Raptor would be cool, so let's give that a shot. Because you're level, what, 32? Okay. That's middle damage, yep. Okay. Just gonna do False Swipe. Not do nearly as much as I wanted. Uh oh. Okay. Well, the good news is we have a slightly weaker Pokemon that we can use for you. So let's go with Lilligant. I mean, a single flying type move will absolutely murder you. However, if we use a. So effects are boosted. So let's just do a regular. There we go. Alright, that'll make it easier. And now let's do a Drain Punch, because I'll do medium damage. Shoot! I wanted to catch you. Never mind. Well, that's fine. 
Okay, so if we go right on out to the island. Oh, and I did try and catch the Alpha Snorlax there. Alpha Snorlax got hands. Alpha Snorlax Hyper Beam nearly kills you in one hit. Uh, as in you, the trainer. So don't let that happen. Uh, so let's go to... I want to... Now that we can ride the lake, ride the water. What if we go to the center of Lake Verity? Oh, is that an Alpha Gyarados? Uh, what level are you? 71! That's scary. Okay, so yeah, this is... Uh, oh, hello. Hey there, little guy. Nice. Ah... Uh... Is it gonna is it gonna turn into the music? Oh, I see a wisp over there. Is it gonna become the lake music? Oh, she's like shifty. I want it, I wanna I wanna listen. Sounds like it's building up to it. Wow. That's a... That's a nice remix. It's little. It's not the biggest remix, but... It's nice. I like that. Okay, so... Yeah, it's, it's low-key, it's low-key, but it's there. Also, wait, hold up. Did that see what I think it did? Ramanis Island. Huh. I didn't even see that that was the name of that place. Brings to mind Ramanis Park, of course, from uh, Brilliant Diamond there. All right. What have we got updated here? What do we got? Petlil, Quillfish is maxed out, Basculin is maxed out. Yeah, so it says, uh, this one is gentle. I've categorized it as a regional form, given uh, the vast array of shared qualities. Even if it doesn't seem like a regional form, it technically is also male. Where have I seen both male and female? Really? Where? Or, or is it, oh, it's saying that Oh, do they actually have different forms for male and female? Is that what it's saying there? Is that th this one has the different... Oh yeah, this one has um, two different ones. Oh, I wonder what a female looks like, if it looks any different. Hmm. Oh, I'll go do that later. Calm down. Is the time for side quests, sir. It's a very important thing. So, uh, that is the mysterious Will-O-Wisp. Okay. I saw art of, um, a Rezu giving a trainer a fade. That's so good. It's so good. Anyways, hi. You want to show me the Will-O-Wisp I saw? Here he is. It's a little monkey fella, isn't it? Now he's gone. That's it, that's the Willow Wisp I saw, right? This was a Pokemon all along. In any case, you caught it like I, you promised. The Survey Corps really are a talented bunch. I have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. Can't say look forward to that. God, the Will, -will, -will, -will of the Wisp! No, oh, save me, Sissoth! <laughs> Childhood trauma. Isn't it the funniest? Nyuk nyuk, hey! You need a new partner? The Pokemon with the tail fins. You require the Pokemon expert looking to have a Pokemon with two twin tail fins. Oh, yeah! Really want to see the Pokemon again. We got that. 
Double the tails, double the fun. We got that. That is... Where is it? Where's the little... Finion right there. The way it wiggles is so adorable. It's like they're fluttering in the wind. You've outdone yourself on this one. Thanks so much for my request. From now on, you survey core folk have my full support. Keep giving it your all. I like how this makes it look like Finion is this massive kaiju-sized beast when it's entirely just perspective. That's hilarious. Um, let's see. We got more quests. Run right here. I like the ones that it's like, hey, here's my quest, and you can immediately go, oh, is this your quest? Look at them! Oh, yo, to have Bidoof on your roof. What a life that would be. What's up, sir? Well, if it isn't one of the youngins from the Survey Corps, good thing you dropped by. I think I need some help making friends with the sea. Do you think you can lend a hand? Canala. Oh, so, wait. Floro and Canala, of whom the streets are named after, and then the cities in later Pokemon, in later Diamond and Pearl, is real? Oh, they're just people. Okay. Brought the little guy home with her the other day, and I wanted us to be on good terms. After thinking long and hard, I decided the best way to win over Eevee is the old-fashioned way, through tasty treats. So I'll be whipping up a special snack from my hometown. Some of the ingredients for it don't grow here in Hisui. I found a few local berries and things that'll make good enough substitutes. The stalks of hardy grains, two hopperberries, and a raspberry is what I need. I'm counting on you. Okay, so let's go grab those. We almost certainly got them. I hate how raspberries I look at and my brain immediately goes, Those are for Pokemon Go. Just because of the fact I'm so used to using them in Go, right? Yeah, Floro Main Street, Canala Road, like, wow, okay. Wish I had a place named up for me. I'm, like, never gonna go into your place till later. Okay, so, pop those in there. So we need Hardy Grains, and then Popo and Raz. There you go, sir. We're ready to go. Okay. I love having them call out. It's real good. And uh, didn't we need to give the pods? The pop pods to Hua Tao to get new stuff? I think so, at least. I think so. All right. So you've got all the ingredients. Yes, they're all here. You're happy to give them? Yeah, there you go. That's why I got them. Got over three stocks, two hoppa berries, and the raspberry. Wonderful. These ingredients look nice and fresh. Look at cooking, so wait here a while. What you gonna make for him? Poffin? What? Okay, all done. Are they beans? Let's have a taste for her. Give one to Evie. Hometown muffin. Never mind. Baked with treats and berries, which is often eaten in regions such as Galar. Oh, cool. That's interesting. I guess the taste is fine, but it's not the same as muffins from my hometown. I remember them being more moist now, and this nice, delicate flavor to them. Sorry to waste your time after all the trouble you went together. Ingredients from free these mediocre muffins won't be enough to get me in Evie's good books. Woo! Oh, what's the matter, Evie? You want one? Well, I won't stop you. Here you go. Woo! I like it that much? That's great. I'm so glad. Yeah. You want another one? I don't think that's wise. Too many snacks to give you a bellyache. Yeah. 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 Oh, now can I resist that cute little face? I'll spoil you rotten if I'm not careful. Yes, I will. Yeah. Thanks to it seems Evie and I will get along fine. More than fine even. I'm in your debt. As for my new muffin creations, they're not quite the same ones from my hometown, so we call them Jubilife Muffins instead. I think I know just what to do to make them even more tasty for my darling Evie to have jot down my ideas. So you should try making some. Nice. Jubilife muffins. Oh, wow. This actually requires a cake lure base, too. Taste of home. So I wonder if I can throw out my Pokemon and then throw food at them. I never even tried that, but that would probably be a thing you can do, huh? Okay, so... um, Next up, then. Well, first off... Pop those. There you go. 
you need to catch up a bit. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Eerie Operations at Night. Twice Spiced Radish. Oh, that's... that's. You know what, though? Um, We can go talk to her and probably get a, some new items, too. I wonder what the Twice Spiced Radish actually does. 21, 86. Gather 10, you get the rare candy. Gather 20, get a Seed of Mastery. Nice. I still don't trust this child at all. I'm going to save that till someone's there, but a seat of mastery is quite nice to have. Um, so next up then we got, let's see here. Uh, let's sort by unfinished first. Um, gone astray in the Mirelands, ride on Ursaluna, all about Magikarp. I don't think we've completed it. Elegant, we don't have that. More wares, give the pop pods. So we'll go and grab some of our pop pods. And I, I, is he going to be like, I sure love popping these pop pods in my mouth and having them explode like like jelly. That'd be weird, dude. What the heck are these? I guess they're a sea vegetable. I mean, I guess. Sea vegetable. I open my mouth and show you chewed up food. Aren't I hilarious? I can't believe that was like a real like prank back in the day where it was like do you want to do you want seafood and you're like you're like yeah sure and they're like uh seafood and you open your mouth and there's like chewed up food in there oh hilarious hey do you actually sell stuff dude gather rare materials you'll be able to craft all sorts of things nope hey got your gross popping sea vegetables i don't know if he's in the survey corps recruit to quite lady of the ridge what can i do for you you're running errands for Choi again, sending a customer to negotiate for him once bad, and once was bad enough, but twice where's the spine pestering me for goods. I'm already tearing my how to get pop pods. Here you go. What you've got pop pods? What you do? Yeah, take them. Hand them over. Uh, pop pods, the cobalt coast lens finest feature. You'll find these fine sea vegetables washed ashore. The best known as the key ingredients in scatter bangs. These lively items for scaring off Pokemon. Alright, I won't send you back to Troy failures to wrap me the pop pods. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. More items in the store. It's always useful. And hey, oh right, we got a bunch of them over here I forgot that we want to do. Right, I forgot about these. Back alley Mr. Mime, that sounds terrifying. Ear movements are making Andra them nervous. Speak to the poor chap and lend your aid. I Man, seeing those animations for, uh, for it is so good. Um, Almus. Thinks he's discovered something about combi hunting. Speak to him to help him out the research. And Sudowudo at Bogbound Camp that seems to be feeling rather poorly. Otto, one of the champs, is doing his best to treat it. Oh, you're watering it. Don't water Sudowudo. He hates it. Man's a man's a rock, not a tree. His name is Sudowudo for a reason. He is Sudowood. You've got new goods. Okay, call things out. Excellent new items. Let's see what we got. I want to see here. Um, Potions, super potions, hyper potions. Full heals. Scatter bangs, the different lures. Nice, that's good. Good stuff. So, let's continue on with some of these quests here. I'm curious about Back Alley Mr. Mime. Just because I want to see this shifty Mr. Mime. No, wait, he's fairy type, right? So we need... Let's see. Do we have any steel type moves? Iron Tail. I was literally just looking at it. All right. Oh, hello, thanks for finding me those orb berries. I had a wretched time with the feelings getting harried by Pokemon left and right. They even got a, me with a few of their moves. I did get those tumble stones, so I thought I'd earn some time to cool my heels here. Didn't even get the chance to use all the orange berries you got me, but they let me in a lovely snack. It's nice to carry around so much. Asking that fellow at headquarters to help me fit more of my satchel is definitely the right move. So, helpful soul you are, I suppose you hear about my request to the professor. On to the matter at hand, then. Would you mind investigating the Mr. Mind that's taking up residence here in the village? Just having a wild Pokemon among us. Every time. Every time that word is said. Which is a lot in this game. It's scary enough, but it's the eerie way it moves. 
The security corps refused to handle it for whatever reason. I'm hoping a survey corps person can figure it out. Look, it's over there. See what it's up to, would you? See that item there. This is hilarious. It's hilarious. This is so funny, actually. <laughs> the game's like, go, go investigate it, would you? And then you go to see it, and you can't even. Can I even get, like, nope. That's so funny. Is it going to be also on the other side? Nope. Hi there, Mr. Mime. Where did it go? It ran off that way. Uh, it wouldn't run unless it had something to hide. Now we really got to find out what it's up to. This is hilarious. Literally making invisible walls. I'm happy. The amount of work that Detective Pikachu did to make Mr. Mime an awesome character is just the best. Look, the Mr. Man ran right over there. Once again. Yeah, that's so funny. That's so funny. I love it. Such a silly quest idea, but... I will say, this is a game where I'm going to say almost every quest I actually am enjoying. There's not really a single quest in this game so far that has made me go like, ugh. Wait, what? Wait, what? But then how? Oh. Oh, there's just a bunch of invisible walls. Okay, well, the also, thank you for leading me to these wisps, by the way. One more wisp in the area. Okay, wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Are you serious? Uh, do I need to go up and around? Can I go up and around? I don't think I can go up and around. Am I doing it? Yes, I am. Nope. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. Rule of thirds, we're gonna get one more. Ran off that way. You know, you got a roundabout way of trying to get up close to a Pokemon. Are you secretly scared of them or something? It's these invisible walls. What? You're joking! Unless that Mr. Mime is using some kind of mysterious power. Whatever the case is called, further research. Gotta get after that Mr. Mime. Come quick. This is funny. The fact that he didn't even try to go on the invisible walls and just like, what are you... <laughs> just looking at us like, what are you doing? Hey, uh, he's over there. Let's see if he's really making these walls. Oh, that, th uh, okay, wait. You say this was a lot easier, but never mind. Okay, wait, let's see. I was going to see if I could roll through there. Oh, wow, I ran into him. There we go. What did I do? I don't know. Well, you're stuck here now, bud. Trying to run away. Wait, you. Oh, I can't go any further. There's definitely something here I can't see. What is it, Mr. Mime? Looks like you got uh, something's got you in a panic. Wait, Reese, you know this, Mr. Mime? Yes, up some guard the gate. Wow, what a perfect Pokemon to be a gatekeeper. When it stands up there, it does that eerie dance while Pokemon can't get in. It's like there's some kind of invisible wall. It's docile and helps me with my job, so I just let it do as it please. Who would have thought? Sorry to make you all out of trouble, but it brought me some peace of mind, if nothing else. If we got invisible walls cropping up here and there, folks had better keep an eye out. Or perhaps not an eye- well, however one watches out for invisible obstacles. Back alley, Mr. Mime. Nice. Again, it has the 
animate. I wonder, did, did we get a Mr. Mime? Did we get one so I could show that off? Yes, we do. It's amazing. Let me show you here. Okay, wait, wait. So let's see. Okay, so it's the clap. Okay, that's its attack. Okay, so it definitely will do it at some point. Let's see here. I think it's an idle pose is what it is. Maybe it needs to when it comes out of the ball. Let's see here. See, I know, I know they have certain animations when they come out of the ball. Okay. Come on. Do that funny animation. Do the Detective Pikachu one. Maybe I just leave him alone for a bit. Let's see. Hmm. You two, like... Okay, let's see. Maybe I need to have two Pokemon kind of talking with each other. And then he'll just... Let's see. I've seen it! I. What if it's a fake video? If it's actually a fake video, I'm going to scream. It was a shiny Mr. Mime in the video. So maybe... Maybe it's... Maybe I'm just confused. Maybe it's not real. Dang. Really? Wait. Okay. So I can't feed it? Nope. Okay. Well, I tried. I don't know. Maybe that video was super fake. Or maybe it's extremely rare. Or maybe it's only the shiny slash alpha versions. Who knows? Anyways, more survey work. Let's see here. Um, Watering with Care. Bogbound Camp. Crimson Mirelands. Balloon Race. That's the one I found there. Octillery's Ink. Taste of Honey. I think this is one that we could probably do here. It's probably just going to be get me a Vespa Queen, which we absolutely have. Let's see here. You take combi request. Yes. Gathering combi honey for work, and I'm starting to think that their honey's flavor develop, uh, varies for, for groups of them. Uh, mean collect honey from combi hives in all sorts of areas. That's a bit too much for one fella. Bring me combi from three different areas. Find one from Gruel. Oh, oh, wow. Grueling Grove combi. I wonder if I can just, is this, does this mean it's the right one? A little sample of its honey. Slurp. Sir? It's exactly what honey should be. It tastes like a distilled drop of nutritious, foresty goodness. Feeling doesn't uh, quite taste like the one from the other areas. Okay, two places to check. Apom Hill. Do we have one from Apom Hill? Don't have it. Okay, so good. Good, good, good. It, it'll literally just uh, literally just be like, hey, go go do this one. Which we're not going to do right now. I'll do that one later. I'll catch them from the other areas on my own time. Okay, I say enough is enough. Let's go and report to the commander. Because uh, otherwise we will be here for too long. I mean, we've already been doing side quests for like 40 minutes. Anyways, hi. Yes, please. Get as many as I can here. They are definitely going to go up in price, but that's fine because this is the most important thing to get. All right, teach me. 5,000. Is it going to go up to 6? Or is it going to go up to 75? Or is it going to go up to uh, 10? Let's see here. 6? Okay. Hey. Every single one is like, cause I'm noticing I'm, I'm running out of space all the time. 
So yeah, this is super important. So we could get one more at this point. Okay. 8,000. All right, there we go. This guy's this guy's running the biggest racket. The biggest racket I can think of. It's literally the give a man one cent the first day and then two cents the next day. It's that. You did well on your mission in the Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy Team, but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. If we were able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though how we might actually close that rift, I have the slightest idea. Remain true to the mission. Will do. So we're just... Just done? Okay. Time for our mochi. If you notice today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, that's because I used the Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon appetit! Yeah, this village went from, ah, Pokemon to, oh man, Pokemon. The birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to Fire Spit Island to witness the event myself. Did you even ride on Basque Legion in the first place, Professor? Come now, you know my coordination is so poor. Couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. But of course, I couldn't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basque Legion. That being said... We'd all do well to uh, remember those wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end, and strive I shall for the sake of my research. I will surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. I like how you're getting dunked on by literal children. The next day. Another fine day in this isekai world. Hello? Frick, you're the battle sub guy! Almost entirely. Like, you're just the same guy... ...with the undercoat. Good morning, good lady who came from the sky. Commander Kamado told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in his office. People love these battle subway twins whose names I completely forget. Are there gonna be both of them? I feel like you can't just have one of them. The whole point was that there was two of them. They were twins. Akari, I have your next orders. You must go to the Coronet Highlands to quell another frenzied mo noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Electrode has a propensity to store up electricity in its body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzied, those electrical outbursts have become gigantic blasts. <clears throat> we'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing you safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word ahead to Irida asking... Bagan. No, you don't have permission to go up there! Oh, Bagan's a guard. Oh, save it. As if I'll be stopped by the likes of you now out of my way. Who's this? Oh, wait. Hold up. You... Who are you? Are you Wallace? All I see is, like, Wallace. Hey ho, Bossman Kamado. I thought I might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. I also can't tell your gender. Melly. Okay. Where are my manners? We're having an uh, Where are your manners, rather? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your issue there, Adamin. How exactly did you intend to discuss Electra without me? It's Mighty Warden here to weigh in. I think that's meant to be like Wallace? I can't actually tell. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Akari to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Aw, oh, come on. Is it me you're trying to humiliate here or our entire clan? Besides, do you think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Oh yeah, big Wallace energy. Mander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. You know what? I'm I'm going to check just in case, because this is going to kill me. Pokemon Melly. Not mellow, because that's Malo that I got there. Uh, Melly. 
Complete lists of Pokemon and their ancestors. Here we go. All right, let's see here. Melly is... Jupiter, Avery, or Lucian? Really? I don't think so. I disagree. I get big wall... Like, hair's a bit different color, but... Mm. Okay, okay. Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Paired no mind, it seems even security guard personnel I trained myself cannot stop one as capable as Warden Melly. That being said, yes? It is clear the security corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Melly? The security corps will sob themselves asleep tonight thanks to you. Matter sumo moves can even send boulders flying. Hmm. <laughs> now, now, that will do. Akari, you have your order. See to it that electrode is quelled. Warden Melly, of course we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Now go! New area, baby! I'm excited. Now it's the Highlands, right? Okay, so we're up on the mountain, pretty much. Listen, Melly, the Galaxy Team, well, at least Sakari is amazing, we'll prove it. Follow me outside. Battle Adamin, okay. Have we battled him yet? I don't think we have. I don't even know what Pokemon he has. Oh, well, of course. Frick, of course. Like, bruh, yeah. Alright, Akari, go around with me. You bet. Melly, make sure you watch closely now. Literally looking away. Literally looking away. All right. Let's go. Mystical. Yeah, let's go Mystical Fire on you. Nice. Baby doll eyes. That's fine. It's not going to be an issue. And let's go Iron Tail. Nice. We we'll did it. Just start dash dancing on the on him right there in front of him. You see how good Akari is now, yes? No more sneering at her. Hmm. Now I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was gonna meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Akari. Glad to have your help as always. Melly, shift yourself. Whoa! Unless you really want to get more of an earful than you're already due for. Oh, come on, Adam, and cut me some slack here. Akari. Hi. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. This is this is the check of if you're ready to go through the through the stars, right? Which we're good. Your survey work will take you to the Coronet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands, but you will need help from the particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. All right. Ing- Ing- Ingo? Isn't Ingo... just the name of the guy? Oh my god, there's so many things to get. Most valued customers hoping you come buy new goods, right? Same business. Uh, I suppose you're wondering why he freezes any time I try to deal with him, but let's say he has his reasons. Go speak to Tawa. Imagine you'll have luck bringing crunchy salt. Three chunks of crunchy salt can do. New hairstyles, what do you need? I'm not quite right. Need something extra. Oh, just the girl I need. I could use help coming up with hairstyles. I hit a real wall. Pokemon. Oh, get a mischievous. Okay. Bring him by for a look. Will do. Oh, for now, let's let's get a new hairstyle anyways. Oh, wait, never mind. You know what? Let's go. Uh, ooh, what do you have? So we're going to change up. New area, new clothes. Definitely. Okay. Wormadam, we got that. About your request. Show you a Wormadam. We got one of those. Now, are you going to request to see all three, though? Plant Cloak, Wormadon has become less from nature, and every Pokemon capable. Yes, I've got it. You appear, please look to the newest additions. Oh, no, that's it. Nice. 
You don't didn't need all three. All right, buy clothing. What do you got? Let's see here. Kimonos are about the same. Oh, we got Pokemon kimono. Different types. Pattern kimono. Karakusa. Ooh. Okay. Paisley. Argyle. Plaid. I don't think they had plaid and argyle back in ye oldie this time, but okay. Fancy kimono. Lilligants. Ooh, yay! That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on that till we actually go to the snow region, though, for sure. But I'm very happy we got those. Do we have new like snow trousers? Yeah, those are cool. We're gonna wear those out there. Tailored suits. The gi. Um, sandals are all still about the same. Sn Whoa. Calm down there. Those are those are a little intense, honestly. Get me looking like um out here looking like Lysander, right? Okay, well, done shopping, yes. So what we're gonna do is we're going to change clothing. And let's go, you know what? I'm not gonna use that out here just yet. I I I have time for that. Instead, let's use our modern clothing because that's another one that we got that we can use here modern shoes looking like a team galactic member nice nice okay give this a shot because hey why not and uh now we'll get a haircut to go along with it let's see what do we want what'll look good well, we could, I wonder if there's Team Galactic Blue. Do we have... Okay. Let's see. I don't think we have the Bob. Right? I wonder what that would look like with the... Uh, with the hat on. Right? Let's go with this for now. Sure. Yes. All right. Trying to look more Team Galactic-y. We got to keep the hat, of course. Like, that's that's legal requirement. You you give me... You give me... A, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. You give me the option to use a hat. By George, I'm taking it. Nice. All right. It is, they don't usually give you the option to use the villainous team outfit, and I'm happy they're doing it here. What am I going to do at this rate? I'll make a real fool of myself in front of Conlin. Oh, hello. You're one of the kids from the Survey Corps, right? Actually, you might just be the person I need to help with a bit of research. My boy Conlin and I are headed to Prelude Beach tonight to find the ghost that a room to haunt the place. But go scare the daylights out of my son. Yep, he's terrified of him. Then you can go and call it a day. Uh, you'd think we could just go, not go and call it a day, but I'm afraid his little heart's set on it. But you know, a fella can't stay scared of ghosts forever, right? Just too tragic for my boy, I mean. Uh, so maybe if I study up on ghosts, I could find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. Any research data on Ghastly, for instance, we could share. Okay. How are we doing for that? Not all the way. Okay. Well, we'll go to the training ground in just a sec. But first off, do you need a new type of Pokemon to uh, help with the field here? Also... A little bit more till harvest. Okay. Nice to see ya. I want the fields bigger. There's some boulders. Pokemon with Rock Smash. I think we should have a Pokemon with Rock Smash. Yeah, here we go. Take a Rhyhorn. Yeah. Your Pokemon will be a sure big help in expanding the fields. Pulverize those pesky rocks there. Yesterday's gravel. Now I'm all pumped up. Sit back. Old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever. Yep. I mean, that'd be nice, but it's... I have no idea how long it takes to actually get them to be, like, planted. Some great work. Any plants you crop will do here, great. It's all thanks to you two. Uh, we'll keep your Pokemon here to work the field a little longer. Just give a holler if you want to swap in different Pokemon. Do some rock smashing. That's fine. These ones are not a problem. Can we, can we put another one here? A little bit more till harvest time. All thanks to Pokemon, we owe you one. 
I like that I put Pokemon here that I can I'm put in his heart and soul. I like this. I, I kind of hope there's more of that later, you know? Okay. Do you not have a brother? I mean, I guess it... I guess he's both black and white with his outfit, technically. So, sure. I'll accept that. Oh, hello, Akari. Oh, he has a beard, too. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. Sorry, Sneasler? Sneasler. Must be a... Must be a new type for a uh, new evolution for Sneasel. Okay. Oh, frick. Is that the one that was leaked, like, early, early on? I'll have to see. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I'm Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to make Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Oh, uh, look at his... Oh, come on. Okay, trainman. Now let's all have a safe journey to Mount Coronet, all aboard. In goes a bit like you, you know. Huh? How so? Oh! Oh, you... Okay. Wait. Pokemon Ingo, right? Because you're... Yeah! Ingo... Is the guy. I was gonna say, isn't that just the name? Oh, you're also an isekai. Huh. Well, this makes my theory about a certain character a lot more interesting. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in the gaps in his memory. I was gonna say, trains aren't really a big thing here right now, are they? In any case, I'm glad to have you help, uh, have your help to count on once again, Akari. Good, good luck at, uh, in the Highlands. Huh. That's intriguing. Because I was going to say, like, I was like, oh, what's the unique name for him? No, that is just Ingo. I am shocked. But also excited that there might be more... Or are you, like, going to be blocking off here? Man? Okay. Uh, I'm excited to hopefully... One, we're going somewhere new. And that's exciting. And I want to get a new Pokemon for sure. Um, a new ride Pokemon. But I'm really curious about... Like... What this means. Hello? Oh, frick. There was the Greek ruins up there. Remember the Greek ruins up on the mountain? Well, this explains a lot. Look at that. That's actually Spear Pillar. Hey, well, my girl. Welcome to the Cornet Highlands. I expect you'll find lots, uh, all sorts of rock and ground type Pokemon running these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great t rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Yeah, certain Pokemon will evolve uh, to use it there. Or Saloon is a real champ when it comes to seeking up treasure, you'll find all sorts of stuff. Should Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll do that for sure. Right? Get some new... Like, yeah, like there's some ones right here. But first off... Alright. Let's deal with you just to deal with you. High horsepower. Nice. Ironic, it's not a horse. Look at how bulky he is. He's only level 48, and he is almost at 300 HP. He is so bulky. This is a Pokemon that is going to be up there rivaling, like... Like, that's going to be a Pokemon to rival... Um... Uh... Frickin', I can't even think Blissey once it's done. Okay, well, I didn't actually mean to use Basky Legion, but let's use Ice Fang. Okay, Slash, it's fine. It's not going to work, actually. That's good. All right. Good stuff. Ah, Basky Legion's rad. Okay, so there's nothing really else new here. Dire Shroom. Let's look for any new items and stuff. Well, that's where we need to go. 
We'll definitely spend some proper time exploring here eventually. Mm, probably not right now, though. All right. Real curious as to what... Oh, this is interesting. Because I'm like, this is like just a straight-up copy-pasted version of the character. The Electrode no uh, known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from Electrode, I recall. But its electrical discharge at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzied to boot. So true. It's tough life for Pokemon and humans alike. Oh, is this? Oh, hi. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan, and oh my, the Galaxy Team grunt from bef- Hey, just because I'm wearing the outfit doesn't mean I'm a grunt. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But by sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on the whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing more than the mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes him stronger. Do I really need to spell out that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway if Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? Really, you should all do us a favor and slink back to that home, vi that village of yours, rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage! What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokémon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Akari? Press on. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasel or Akari, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Wayward Cave. Not Oh, no, not way back. Okay, Wayward. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I was like, wait, what? Um, here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Okay. Oh. Proper dungeon. I saw a couple of them on the map, but this is the first time it's like, yeah, here we go. Proper dungeon. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way in the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Because normally he does that... He does that pose with his twin. Right? It's kind of sad, actually. I recall faintly, yeah, that I had a partner once, a precious one. Oh. His name escapes me, but I remember that it, oh, well, wielded its flames with mastery. Never mind, that's, that you're talking about your brother. If only it were here now, it would light the way, luring us onwards. I don't even remember what Pokemon he actually had. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an Alpha Crobat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone as competent as you, but given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. So I can break those, apparently. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We battle and discuss Pokemon, I think. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. Hmm... We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears still much lives on in my heart. This is extremely tragic. I don't think I've seen a tragedy like this since what happened with, um... Oh my god, is Looker gonna be in this? Please tell me we meet Looker. Let's find progress from nearly home free. Wait, could those be? Oh, well, someone stole all those, huh? Let me put the torches back where they belong. The darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. For all the track marked by the torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. Nice. I think we got a Golbat. But 
just be careful. Just be careful. Nice. Another goal bat. I hope we get to go through more of these. I really do. Okay, well, here we are. Yeah, it was a small little cave, but I'm excited to maybe explore it after. I didn't, I don't know, I, I was not expecting there to be proper, like, cave dungeons, you know? Hope there's more. I really hope there's more. Professor Laventon, told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. I still wonder what my true purpose is here. And, but I've now sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. This is wild. Air across. Okay, well. Uh... Who can we use? Let's see here. Sorry, is someone attacking me from behind? I'm hearing goop. Oh. Well, let's get rid of him at least. Yeah, let's just get rid of you. Thankfully, fighting type moves should not work on me, huh? Or normal. Nice. So, let's do a... Just an Iron Tail for now. Okay, that's fine. I, I want to catch a Heracross. Alright, Iron Tail. Heracross is a sick Pokemon. Wow, is, is do none of your attacks actually work? It's kind of cringe, bro. Almost had a Great Balls. Gotta go craft some more. Nice, got it. I did find an Ultra Ball also. Um, I found it in a um, one of the boxes that's on the beach. I you tried to use it to catch myself an Alpha Pokemon and it didn't work. So that's fine. You know, let's let's battle you just to get some levels. Okay. Use, um, can't do that fast enough. That's fine. We'll just do regular energy ball. Okay, nice. Perfect. All right. Some level ups here. Okay. I actually have no idea where I'm going, really. Oh, well. That would, that would provide the answer, huh? Stantler. Again, I'm looking for an Alpha Stantler. Because I would want a bigger weird ear. There's an Alpha Moth in there. What level is it? That's the question, right? It's a low enough level, I'll just beat it up. Level 55? Sure. I just battle it to battle it. I'm not going to catch it, but I just want to battle it. Okay. That won't hurt me that much. Ooh. Okay. Let's find that my... There we go. Let's just do a strong stone axe here. This will hurt you a lot, bud. Yeah! One hit KO, baby! Nice. Good stuff. So, also going to pop this on you just to have that. It's obviously not doing as much as it once was. Nice. Good stuff. What's that? I wonder what can be in that tree over there, though. What's going to come out? Oh! Full blown hair across now. Okay. Well, um. Use X scissor on you. Alright. And Heracross Swords Dance, okay. 
We got bug fighting. This this truly is the original vision of Pokemon, huh? Bug v bug combat. I'm gonna do my own. I'll sh I'll show you what to do with sword stance. Okay. Time for you to meet the strong axe of justice. Nice. That was worth it. Well, Paris. What's going on here? You let me in. What is this? What is this square room? What's the big idea? Putting back all the torch I spent ages tidying away. To get some sort of amusement, stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm, well, this goes to show that even we wards don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put in my efforts to waste. If you think I'll let you saunter on ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only thing getting past me is if you can defeat my partner, Pokemon. How will you proceed, Akari? I'll beat him. Okay, male, got it. Ghost gun tank, show these louse the true meaning of silent but deadly. Like the fart? Also, yeah, like Wallace. Let, let, yeah, like Wallace. Let's be real here. Anyways, uh, we're gonna actually switch you out. Switch in Ursaluna. Because of uh, poison type. Uh, meet ground. Yeah, right. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Let's do a fast one, and then we'll do a regular. Or not. Who cares? We're good. Battle decided. To the victor goes the spoils. Listen here, neither I nor Skun Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, however, I will withdraw to afford Skun Tank time to recover. There's no shame in tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. I'll keep my guard up. If, uh, keep your guard up. We'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melly's into, uh, intentions, but from now, for now, let us press on. I don't even know what's looking at me. The ancient quarry, huh? Oh, Bronzor. Big square room. It's the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop the mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. Oh, interesting. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gaze of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Okay, yeah, 100%. You're Cynthia. You are Cynthia traveling through time. I'm calling it. Vola, was it? What's the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could be somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the Rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you better uh, do better to pose your questions to Akari, I think, if that's to do with the Rift. Indeed, well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you, then, Akari? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the Rift? Was there anything inside? Maybe something. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. That makes sense. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appeared in history in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it, as it appeared in, uh, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why is the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Akari have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. While you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. 
Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust the task to Akari. Until next time, then. You're Cynthia. I'm I'm a hundred percent certain at this point. Like I was thinking about it, but then now Ingo is here, and Ingo is literally the same. Okay. You're Cynthia, who somehow managed to keep her her memories, I feel, and is hiding. I mean, again, Cynthia's always had a flat chest. Like, I hate that that is going to become a plot point in this. I'm sure. I'm calling it. Once we're through here, it'll be a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Yeah, because I want to catch myself with those uh, bronzor there. Once again, a Pokemon that I've caught multiple shinies of, despite not necessarily wanting them. Just something that I did get. Um, crunch. Because you're defensive, so that should not kill. Okay, never mind, it did. Do you guys even, like, eat? I, like... Okay. Like them grains... You, like, didn't even eat them. You, like, didn't even eat them, dude. You have no mouth. Okay, another try. Wow, why? Why are you, like, so hard to catch, despite being a Pokemon that is normally pretty easy to catch? Uh, effective. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Should be good now. Nice. Okay, let's use... You know, we got those heavy balls. Pop those. Are we just moving on to the point where it's like, yeah, you should be using... You know, you should be using stronger Pokeballs. I think it is. You know what? Um, Do we have... Can we make some? We can craft some... Seven of those. We can craft four of those. Craft one of those. Very nice. Are you an alpha? No, you're not an alpha, right? You're normal. You're just very hard to catch. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Sometimes persistence is key, and it's a heavy bronzor. Could you imagine that? A bronzor that's heavy? Say it ain't so. I really like this area thus far, actually. It's very cool. It's... it. I didn't love the coastline area, actually. I thought it was a little... I'm not going to say lame. But it was... It's a little... It was. A, it didn't feel really greatly designed. Where here, I'm like... I don't know. Maybe because it's actually more linear, I'm actually enjoying its design more. You know? Might as well fight a bear here. This is literally the game saying, hey, did you not catch a, uh, did you not catch a Ursaluna? Now's your chance, even though I went out of my way to get a really powerful one. Oh, dang, come on, but at least he's still going to be stunned, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, good stuff, getting levels. Yeah, I'm just going to run from you guys. Several bears. That's scary. That's really spooky. Luxios. I'm actually a little surprised at how much overlap there is between the areas and what Pokemon are there. I almost expected um, there to be more. Also... 
setting up camp here. Don't mind if I do. That'll be good because I want to do that. I've got something to do to get this camp. Got to do something or whatever to get this camp set up. Hey, part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. Came here since I heard you plan to set up a camp. Seems not progress has made since that brown is in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems and it uh, seems like it wants something, so we can't ignore it either. Do you think you find out what he wants? Okay. You want beans? Thinking about beans? Soar! Something over that way? Oh, is it that you want to go meet up with your friend? Because I saw there was another one over there. Zor. Zor. Zor, Zor. Zor. You're clipping into it. Saw so Bronzor fly off in this direction all of a sudden. What? That Bronzor, it's wounded. It's no good at all. Felix, fix it up. Yeah, it should do it. Bronzor should be fit as a fiddle now. Zor! So Zor! Seems Bronzor at the campsite was looking for his friend this whole time. I'm glad you looked into it. Otherwise, we may have been too late to drink this Bronzor. This land is dangerous, even for the Pokemon that call at home. Might be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'm sure. Keep a fine a lineup of wares stocked up for you, so please buy anything you need. Seems base camp has been set up while we were talking, in which case, uh, perfect. Oh, these are very easy quests to get base camp set up, and that is the best. Honestly, not having to worry about setting up base camps. Like, they're actually, they were quite difficult in, um, in, like, Pokemon, or rather, um, Monster Hunter there. Trying to get them done, it was like, yeah, it was, it was actually a bit of work there. Anyways, let's make a bunch of those, and oh, we're almost out of apricorns. That's fine. Um, 24 of those. Okay. Nope, we're good. Let's rest up to heal our pogies. And we'll at least get this new Pokemon. Because again, they, they, they hinted at a new Pokemon for us, and I can't turn away from a new Pokemon being uh, implied. Because I want to see what this Sneasler is. I'm very curious. Well, you do get more experience, like, as you level up and stuff. Oh, this can be very useful if this is one to climb. Which, if the leaks that I've seen are true... Well, not that they're true, but if it is the one in the leak that I saw, like, early on, this Pokemon was seen, like, nearly day one, but it was only in a black silhouette. Uh, you never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs. Oh, it's the climbing one, so yep. Yeah. With Sneezer as an ally, it becomes a work of a moment. She is uh, so at home on the cliff face, one might think she might know some secret, some hidden move. Rock, literally rock climb. Literally rock climb. Oh my god, look at this. What am I saying? Hidden moves are no such things in history, surely. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to history? If you fell from the sky, you came from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you could jog this memory loose. Would you do honor me with a battle, Akari? All right. All aboard then. Machoke, prepare for departure. Warden Ingo. Yo, standing backwards. That's good. And he does his pose. Oh, that's so good. Okay, we're also going to switch out because um, that's a bad matchup. Let's bring in Weird Ear. Because Weird Ear can use uh, some... Psychic type moves, and honestly, we're not using Weird Ear that much, despite working so hard to get it. Alright. I love this move. It's so good. Tangela. Stun Spore. Yay, we dodged it. Look at low poly Tangela there. Walk on up. Get your polys back, boy. Wow, that didn't do as much as I expected. Uh, so you know what? Let's do... Let's 
another one here. Oh, he missed. Always oh, doing agile style what? Agile stun spore. Okay. Energy ball. That's not. Yeah, it's not going to do a lot. Paralyzed? Nope. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Bring up that stat again. Crit. Not that it super matters. Okay, and... Fly score. Okay. Well, that's a good one for us. As long as it... As long as it hits, because then we can use Size Shield Bash. You know what? I'm going to go all in. Let's commit to the bit. Really? Are you not poison? Or no, it's ground flying, isn't it? Shoot, never mind. I always forget. You have like, yeah, it's ground flying. I always forget. I always think Liger and Gliscor are poison. Because they're poiple, right? Anyways, let's use Wave Crash, which is its uh, signature move. It's powerful, but does uh, recoil damage. Yeah. Battle decided. Bravo, excellent. Good level ups. Move mastered. Nice. Nice. Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now, allow me to call Sneasler. Yeah, I want to see this new pogey. Show me this new pogey. Again, I've seen its silhouette, so I know it's tall. But I don't know anything about what it actually looks like. Okay. Okay. Huh. It's less designed than I thought. I actually don't mind it. Okay, that's, no, you know what, that's pretty good. It's very sassy. It's very sassy looking. Allow me to introduce you, Akari. This keen clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. I feel like that name is very much a cop-out, though. You can't just add Ur to the name of a Pokemon that already exists. It's like a Yeti version of Sneasel. Okay. Sure. Oh, it's got... Okay, it's got the, the laugh. Okay, no, I like that. Sneasler opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Oh, it's poison type now. At least I think it is, if it's like... What type is it? I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasler's aid and quell the Lord of the Up in the Mountains. I'll return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard. Now call Sneasler to scale and descend sheer cliffs and rock faces. Oh, that's the Demon Slayer. Come on, that's pretty fun. Summon Sneasler when you're near climbable surface, then use it with it. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. Wow, you move quickly with Sneasel. Oh, this is funny. It looks just like I'm like, like the other ones look like I'm riding the Pokemon. This is just like. That's fun. Okay. Yeah, I can get behind this. And it's like the Arceus container. That's fun. Obviously, like, yeah, like this one, yeah, of course I'm not going to be able to throw balls and stuff. This is a fun ride, Pokemon. I like it. I like it. It actually feels really good to control. Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, one, rest here. Uh, but next time, guys, we will be moving on to check out the Lord up there. So, thank you all for watching, and we will see you then for that, guys. Ciao. You can push yourself to the limit and be strong